Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bard's Tale. Last episode we finally finished with the four bulk mines and we passed the point of no return because we went on the raft and from this point onwards we cannot go back anymore. So I left it here before we entered the underground river because it seemed a nice place to live off. So we can uh, have the underground river all to this episode. So let's go. Let's see if I remember what to do. Pinfall caverns. Okay. So we have a safe point here. What else? Oh, and I think the enemies. Yeah, I have an entrance here. So the enemies in this dungeon respawn. Come on, attack him. Healing! Okay, what do we have? What chest? Yeah, just a bit of junk. Fiend. Yeah, these guys are tough. Go away. Too easy. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so this place is blocked off. Let's see what it is. A magical barrier barred our hero's way. If only he had a way to neutralize magic. Yeah, I wonder where we're gonna find that. Okay, which way do we go? There's a safe point there, so let's go that way first. Okay, what do we have here? To hell with the blackguard! Too easy. Oh, oh, I still got it. Okay, let's keep an eye out for anything suspicious. What do we have here? A Viking. I'm gonna talk to him later. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, no chests, but a lot of enemies. Too slow. On your knees. Oh, 
Oh, I love this bow. Too easy. Does it hurt? And die already. Be healed. Okay, we have this here. Okay, what do we get? And nothing special. And in this corner, nothing. Really? Does it hurt? Man, they're annoying. Right, what else? Too easy. All right, nothing here. Oh wait, here's something. Is anyone there? No, damn. I, I mean, go away. Uh, so I think uh, with this guy you have to be nice to him. Not uh, really sure. I think if you're snarky with him, he's gonna run away from you. Not a hundred percent sure, but I'm gonna be nice just in case. Come out, friend. I mean you no harm. All right. Just don't hurt me. You said you meant no harm. I'm very sorry I didn't come out of hiding sooner, but you see, I've been down here a while, always running from the Finn folk, not to mention the crazy Viking. He thinks I'm in a league with the Finn folk, if you can imagine that. I haven't seen any Vikings down here, but uh, I've certainly seen plenty of Finn folk about. He's just an insane old man who runs off at the mouth. I lead him and his brother down here, help them navigate the tunnels. I turn around for one moment and the two of them have gone off somewhere. Not that I was sad to see them go. If you think he talks too much, you should have heard his brother. So I go looking for them. And when the Finn folk jump me, I give out a yell for help and go hide myself. The next thing I know, he's calling me a traitor and trying to kill me. I just want to get out of here with my skin intact. I can lead you to the boat that brought me here. Follow me. Thanks. Let's go. And now we have to lead him back to the entrance. But uh, don't take him to the Viking up, up here. I think if you take him to the Viking, he's not gonna approach him. Healing! Come on, die. I don't think melee works better on these guys, but... Okay, what else? Does it hurt? Oh, no. Come on, friend. 
We're almost there. Does it hurt? And here we are. Here, take this. It's my most precious possession in the world. My father gave it to me when I was younger, but I want to thank you for what you've done for me. And there he goes. Off to safety. And we got Furbolg armbands, which are these. Ancient Furbolg armbands, worn by Furbolgs of high standing and said to represent strength of character as well as physical strength. These armbands, passed down from father to son to worthless bard, contain the strength of every Furbolg who has ever worn them. Hey, I'm not worthless. So now we have a plus 3 to strength, we are only missing dexterity, and another token that uh, not really sure what it is. Okay, let's go talk to the viking Why now. Why are we even bothering with this? Oh, shut up. I'm only keeping you around in case I miss a chest. So with the viking, if you didn't pay attention to the nice furbog, he said he's a chatty one, meaning he likes to talk. And I suggest you let him talk. Hey, just a moment, stranger, for I can see you're neither finfolk nor furbog. Now who are you? And more importantly, what are you doing here? Uh, I don't think the first option matters which you say, but I think I'm gonna be nice to him. Well, I'm a simple traveler, really. Singer of songs, you know, teller of tales. Now, who may I ask are you? I am called Olaf. I am a Viking from Stromness. As to why I am lost here, that's easy enough. After the Furbolgs first dug their way down here and found these water-filled tunnels, me and my brother Eric came down with a furball guide. Now, what was his name? Let's see, uh, it was Baliak or something. Well, that's not important right now. More on that treacherous dog later. Anyways, we came down here to explore, you know, see if there was any treasure to be had, maybe a nice vein of ore. So we brought a small boat with us. I'm a pretty decent shipwright myself. Did I mention that? Now, when we were younger, my brother was always the one who was better at building things. Me, I've always been good at knocking them down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> of course, what use is a viking that can't take care of his ship? So I spent several years in Jordland studying under old Skaggy, the master shipwright. Surely you've heard of him. Of course you have. Everyone has. It was his boat, Drogrimmer, that led the fleet of Kolskeg the Bloody in his famous raids off the Black Coast. So I was saying. We have our ship down here and we're navigating these tunnels when we come upon a bit of dry land. Anyways, Eric and I are hauling the boat out of the water. We port it over to the other side and manage to get it back into the water when we noticed the Fairborg is missing. So we go off to look for him. We hear him calling out to us down one of those side passages to the east and we get jumped by a whole horde of finfolk. Now, finfolk, as you know, are notorious for using magic. And it just so happened that in my younger days, I picked up a little trick to deal with such things. You see, it all started when old Thorvald the weaponsmith, he tells me about this island that he saw when he was but a lad. And he says to me, Olaf, he says, you're the best sailor I ever laid eyes on. 
And if anyone can get out and find that island, it's you. Now, of course, at this point, I'm swelling with pride because Thorvald, he served with some fine old sailors, as I'm sure I don't have to tell you. There's old Bjornoff Redbeard, Arno Kettleson, Kettle Arnason, and Ranoff Ederson, to name but a few. So at any rate, I sail out to this island with my brother Eric. You remember me talking about him, right? Poor lad never had a chance against those Finn folk. I tried to save him, but I was too late. That treacherous fur bog led us into a trap he did. Killed my brother and left me stranded down here. And there you have it. And that is my sad, sad tale. Brings a tear to your eyes, does it not? I I can see you're all choked up by it. You're a good lad to let an old man run off at the mouth like that. Here, take this stone. I found it down here, and I have no use for it. And to tell you what, if you do win the Furbog, I'll teach you how to dispel magic. Might help you get past those Finn folk. He hides himself in the caverns east of here. Just bring me back proof that he's dead. And you thought I was long-winded. You use your words efficiently. Far less content, but surprisingly just as annoying. And we got a new token. An experience. And now we basically have to tell him we killed that furbog, but we kind of rescued him. So, uh, yeah. That's not gonna happen. But first, let's look at that token. What was it? This. A worn and ancient stone, reportedly struck by several bolts of lightning in a great storm thousands of years ago. Although many throughout history have tried to capture lightning in a bottle, the bard would have to settle for a stone. And there it goes. And I think this one... I don't think we're gonna get it, but we'll see. I may have to look it up. Okay, what else? Okay, everything is at three. Let's see if we can tell him uh, about the furbog and what happens. Can I not talk to him? Oh, there we go. Well, how are you done with your little mission? Hi, here you go. The bloody deed is done. His armband, eh? Yes, yes, this is good proof. He was always boasting about how great his father was and how it'd been his most precious possession. He'd never have given it up. I have no use for the damn thing, so you keep it. Thanks. Now, I believe you have some payment for me? Payment? Oh, yes, yes. I, I learned this secret when I was younger. It was on the Isle of the Winged. Enough with the tales. Teach me what you know. Of course. No need to get violent. And we have a new tune. And more experience. And did we somehow lose the armbands? I'm not sure. Okay, we still have plus three. They're still there. Okay, let's go. So now... Uh, no, not that. We have the upgraded bodyguard. I'll protect you! Who has... Uh, where is it? Tune list. The mercenary. Typical of his sort. Crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn. Okay, it doesn't show, but uh, as you saw in that picture, now he has a bigger shield. And we can uh, dispel this over here. Okay, we have a save point over here. That's nice. And that was the sound of a door opening. So 
Show okay. me the target. So let's save here because I'm not sure what's gonna happen in here. And let's go to the obligatory lava level. As the bard ventured further into the caves, the sight of the scorched ground concerned him. Wait, it, it did concern him, didn't it? Because it really should have. You really know how to inspire confidence, don't you? And let's see what we have here. As you can see, a little map. But you're gonna have to make a choice here, and I don't know the results of that choice. But I think one is you get the token, and the other something else, or... Well, let's see. I can make it. I'm the chosen one. Yeah, I can make it. I'm the chosen one. Hello there. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Who are you? You don't seem like one of those druids. Did Dugan send you to help me? Did Dugan send me? Yeah, you could say that. So, you're the chosen one, are you? Oh, you heard that. Yes, I am the chosen one. Okay, if I don't like the results, I'm probably gonna reload when I'm back at this option. The chosen one, eh? How'd you go about getting stuck with that? Well, it all started at home. My father had gone over to the neighbors for... Your father? You mean you're not an orphan? Well... Actually, I am an orphan. I call the man who raised me father. How did you know? Oh, just a lucky guess. Keep going with your story. So he went away to the neighbors and I went to look for him. Well, I got lost along the way and met this mysterious man out in the woods. He's the one who first told me about the princess and that I was the chosen one. Look, lad, I don't know how you made it this far, but I've run into a lot of chosen ones so far, and you're the first one who was in any condition to speak to, if you catch my drift. It's been difficult, but if I just believe in myself, then I can do anything. If I believe I'm the chosen one, then I can make it over to that chest and back to safety. Oh, you can do what you want, of course, but I wouldn't set foot in that room if I were you. What? But why not? Why not? Because it's a bloody room full of bleeding lava, you halfwit. You wouldn't get two steps into that room before you burst into flames and die a horrible, pointless, and very, very painful death. I... I suppose you're right, but what am I going to do? I can't make it past those fin folk. I'm stuck. Well, you could wait here, where it's safe. I'll think of some way to get past the fin folk. Say, you wouldn't happen to have anything on you that could help me out, would you? I don't know. What sort of thing do you mean? Oh, anything, really. The odd trowel charm, ancient scrolls, magical swords, that sort of thing. Since you won't be needing them any longer. Well, sure, I have some stuff like that. Here you go. I'll um, uh, just wait here, I suppose. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. A chosen one of many, is it true? When you think you're full of luck, you look forward to your throat. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. You came upon a lad with confidence. The contemplating moaning, throwing tests. He tried to clarify his unthinking reasons why. But in the end, his logic made no sense. Oh, it's bad luck to be you.
All right, guys. So I went and did the nice version of this, and I'm probably gonna leave the song in because uh, I looked it up, and the song varies depending on uh, what choice you make. Not much, a few lyrics, I think. But I want to be snarky with him because being nice doesn't get me anything useful. So, snarky it is. Well, you may be a chosen one, but you're not the chosen one. What do you mean by that? They've all told me I'm the one. So someone tells you you're the chosen one and you just believe them. <laughs> you haven't noticed all the other chosen ones running about by any chance? The dead ones? Yeah, that means they weren't the chosen one. I am the chosen one and I'll prove it right now. I'd really like to see that. Bad choice, chosen one. <laughs> For you, at least. And now the song. Let's get out of here. So yeah, if you're nice to him, he gives you the harp of ages, I think. But the musical instrument we have is uh, much better. So the harp goes straight to silver. So yeah, be snarky with him. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, the exit is over here. Let's kill these guys. And I'll probably end it when I get to the island tower. Over here. Okay, chest. Nothing special. Who was that? Oh, upgraded knocker. Okay, anything else? I don't see anything. Hopefully we don't miss it. Easy. 
easy weezy. Come on, you're letting my dog fight all alone. Let's save one more time here. Uh, no chests, no nothing. I think I have everything. Hopefully I do. So let's go back. Uh, actually, let's go forward. And I'm probably gonna end this when we reach the island tower. Actually, that's where I, I'll end it because I want to make the island tower probably a whole episode. What was this? Some sort of snake. I have taken my measure of thee. This is going to be a long boat ride. Not even worth the effort. Oh, damn. Come on, attack. Attack. Really? I'm doing all the work. Not even worth the effort. Useless summons. Come on, where's the next enemy?
Come on, heal yourself. Ooh, that looked painful. There is something worth having. And another snake. Go away, you. Worthless. Oh man, this is a long. What was it called? I think it was something C. longer episode but <laughs> too easy what's even worse the effort come on hit them too easy Okay, just a little bit more and we'll finally be there, getting closer and closer to the end. A lot of silver to retire on. Worthless. You again. Alright guys, this is the end. So, once again, having left a wake of death and destruction behind him, the bard continued onward towards the island tower in search of the fair maiden Calais. Now, you may ask yourself, was his mind weighed down with the burden of saving the world? The lives he had taken? Friends he had lost? Or was he just wondering what the princess looked like naked? I'm sure that answer is painfully obvious. Yeah, we all know the, that answer. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what I do. Maybe share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice day.